I'm more optimistic than I was six months ago. You are? Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, I'm not ready to party. You're not ready. You're, so you're not a buyer and you're not a seller. You have been buying well, some stuff, though. Waste and... Sure. You know. I mean, we bought waste and we bought hospitals and, uh, you know, I mean, we're always... There's almost never a scenario where there aren't uh, sections that are worth buying and specific opportunities that alter your view. But uh, there are also times when uh, you kind of feel like you could buy anything and you do fine. This is not one of them. I was surprised you brought up what the, the left, one of the most divisive figures that the left that points to right now is Betsy DeVos right now. And that's just one example of this culture war that we're, we're in the middle of that seems to be worsening every day. How does well, that, how does that, that, does it ever affect the financial markets? How does it finally, does it keep getting worse? Does it reach a peak and then we start coming back another way? Is there some exogenous event that comes in and, and maybe helps heal all this? Or, or do we just, is there civil war? I mean, it's, it's really frightening. To me, it's somewhat frightening that the, how polarized the, the country is. Right well, now. I don't think there's any question that the level of polarization uh, is beyond the pale. Um, Unfortunately, historically, these kinds of periods have required wars or uh, you know, some, some horrible, kind of yeah. giant, uh, you know, save the nation to make people forget about, uh, you know, where they were. I mean, you know, was it 1938 when you had the big battle about stuffing the Supreme Court? And you certainly had as yep. divisive a scenario uh, in this country. I mean, George event. Bush was never popular with the left, obviously, W, right? I yes. mean, it never, but it was nothing like this. I mean, if this, can this continue for the next four years in terms of, I mean, it's, it's anything goes with, you know, resist and the bum and he's, you know, he doesn't deserve to be there and Maxine Waters says, well, we'll decide what impeachment is as soon as we win the House back. You know, we don't even need something that's impeachable. We just, we'll decide how to, how to go about, I mean, it's never been to this extent, Sam. I don't I don't disagree, and, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the president's thesis is that uh, sticking everybody in the eye right. is the way to, you know, get their attention and cooperation. I'm certain the first is true. I'm not certain the second is. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.